So, true story gist. Good day, everybody. You're welcome. This is true story with me. So, this gist goes like this, okay? Now, <laughs> you know when they say karma, hmm? some people don't understand say karma, do you real? And I don't understand why people, when they do things that is like you did something wrong, all right? Like you got to a position in a wrong way and you think that position will remain to you fair. Because in English, they say what goes around comes around, all right? So this just goes like this. This particular lady, um, she have a friend, a best friend. Now, she and her best friend, those days, they were, they were living in the same accommodation, the same house, because her friend was dating a man who rented an apartment for her. Her friend, her best friend. Now, this her best friend now accommodated her. All right, this person what I'm talking about now is the person that was accommodated by her bestie. So her bestie accommodated her in the same in the house where the the where somebody rented like okay how do I explain this so you guys understand? All right, let's start again. Um, Joy, all right, is the person involved. Joy is telling her story. Now Joy have a friend called Rita. Rita had a boyfriend that rented an apartment for her during school days, during the university days. So Rita um, accommodated Joy in the house. So the Rita's boyfriend usually comes to the house, you know, come to, to visit them and all that and all that. So at the point, Rita's boyfriend started eyeing Joy, started eyeing Joy. According to Joy, one thing led to the other, you know, she, Joy, and Rita's boyfriend started seeing each other. They started dating codedly. So she said that we are dating, but at the point, Rita started suspecting that her boyfriend is cheating on her. But she don't know with whom he is cheating on her. So what now happened was that one day Rita went to her boyfriend's place and found a message, you know, like saw a text message from a girl. And then she broke up with her boyfriend. But Rita didn't know that it was her girlfriend, Joy, who lives with her in the same house that has been dating and cheating, uh, having relationship with her boyfriend. So Rita broke up with the guy and, you know, started dating another and went for service. According to Joy, she and Rita's boyfriend now started dating fully, but not but Rita wasn't aware that she and her boyfriend were dating. So they now went for service. According to Joy, um she was still dating Rita's boyfriend. And Rita was dating another guy that she met uh, during the uh, youth call services. Later on, Rita and the guy she met in uh, Rita and the guy she met at, uh, during the youth call got married, and she they both traveled to the U.S. So Joy said that you know when when Rita went to U.S., she, they were not having much time anymore because you know everybody knows if you're abroad now you know you don't get too much time. So they were, they were not having so much time again, you know, to like to be so communicate as they used to communicate. And she said, you know, is it also better for her so that she can also have her privacy to be dating with the guy? Now she said that. Let me go back to the time when uh, Rita and the boy and the man broke up. She went to the guy. She usually go to this guy's place. She don't want the guy to miss Rita, so she so she will not go to the guy's place, cook food, wash clothes. Like she said, she was playing the wifey role to this very guy because he doesn't. She doesn't want him to miss her bestie. Okay, so she was doing all that, you know, like making sure she's always there, two four seven. She was with this man. Now Rita later moved to, to US and she was dating with the guy. She said that just last week, Rita called her and sent her message that the guy, the boyfriend of ex-boyfriend to Rita was getting married. Ex-boyfriend to Rita, which is Joy's boyfriend, is, uh, is getting married. And that the boyfriend sent Rita in US his invitation card. Meanwhile, this guy, she had... Like she and this guy slept together last night and this person is getting married next week. He sent, the guy sent his ex, which is Rita, the invitation card and everything. But the one, the, the boyfriend snatcher, no, no, say the man is getting married. 
he didn't post anything no clue he didn't post on his status nothing so he now asked um uh joy now asked rita to send her please may she send them the, the picture may she see the picture of the girl we won't get married to <laughs> and she now called the man to say uh -uh, what is this so you're getting married and all that the guy said uh -uh, yes i'm getting married the guy did not deny it he said yes i'm getting married i don't owe you any explanation do i have to take permission from you before i before i get married do i must i tell you before i get married i didn't promise you marriage we're just having relationship and that is it hi ah view hey god of mercy like <laughs> now <laughs> now the funny thing is that joy is asking rita to send her the picture of the guy's uh, uh, wife, wife to be, or she whether she have a handle and all that. Say ah, because he want to chat. Say she she intend to chat the guy, the girl, to tell her the kind of man she's getting married to. <laughs> ah, women, women, who does this? Our mumu, eh? What's the first name? Mumu like this. Like, wait, to you snatch somebody's boyfriend, your best friend's boyfriend, and you now expect this your boyfriend, this man, to be loyal to you. What do you think? This person didn't do him, didn't do this lady, Rita, didn't do anything to the man, nothing. You snatched him from the guy, from the girl and still you expect him to be loyal to you and you for your mind like i know if you understand like she's also comfortable like she was going to get married to to her bestest boyfriend that you know you snatched from like you were going to get comfortable you like, she got comfortable and she was going to get married you snatched him probably wanted to also benefit from the national cake why then put your whole mind inside the relationship don't you know that karma will fall on you don't you know that the man will always use it against you even if you guys get married don't you know he will call you a cheap, a cheap person that you knew she was in a relationship with your best friend and that you went ahead to snatch him don't you know that this man will also see you as somebody who will be pos who who can possibly sleep with his friends don't you know don't you know like what happens to you people's brain what happens when you do certain things why don't you think why don't you think the front and the and the front and the back is different if it be say maybe the ex was and uh, rita was cheating on the guy or misbehaving or doing anything or treating the guy unfairly is different but not when you use crooked way and you are the problem and you expect to be treated fairly you expect to be treating treated uh, 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 with with whatever your mind tells you no what goes around comes around you should not expect anything less you should expect worse to come to you that's just it so this guy after he had used you he paid you back with your own coin and in a, in a hard currency coin that's what he paid you guys what do you guys think? Do you guys think he, she deserves what she got? Do you guys think the guy messed up? What do you guys think? Let's say it in the comment section. I'll see you guys on True Story.